worked on the island for a long time now, but I've never seen anything like this. My name is Jason, an engine driver, specifically James Driver. On the Northwestern Railway, I thought it would be a cool idea to make a journal of my time here and if anything strange were to happen. The, the railway is located on an island so we tend to get a lot of mist and fog, but today is different. Today the mist is much worse than normal, causing most trains to be cancelled. The trains that haven't been must run much slower though. Gordon hates this but the other engines tell him it's for his and the passenger's safety for these conditions. James is normally excited to pull passenger trains, but he's upset because no one will be able to see his paintwork. I'll keep this notebook on me and continue if something interesting happens. Well, I'm sure you know something strange is going on as I'm still writing this. The mist still hasn't gone away. Some of the engines are claiming they're hearing whistles from outside, but yet no engine. Even stranger is that a new research facility was constructed right before the mist rolled in. We still haven't gotten any word from them explaining what their purpose was. James is still in a bad mood about the mist, but he was acting weird as he appeared to pull his train today and that there was something strange in the air. Anyways, we're about to leave for Vickerstown, but I do have to agree with James that something's weird about today. <laughs> So much has happened it's crazy. It's probably best to start from the beginning. While sitting at the station James was talking to Edward. Edward was telling James to be careful with the mist but James told him to bug off as he knew what he was doing. The guard blew his whistle and we left. We sped down the line but had to be careful as the mist made it hard to see. We had reached Gordon's Hill and where we heard the whistles of the other engines as well as screams but there was no one there. James was struggling to get up the hill. He kept telling us it felt as though he was being pushed back. We made it up the hill and something changed. We passed the bend and we felt some strange shockwave. James must have felt it too as he even grunted in pain. We went down the hill but everything was silent. No wind, no nothing. Like when we were heading up the we came to a halt at the bottom stage where we saw something hard. It looked to be a move, but her eyes were gone. All there was in their place was two black holes. It looked as though her face was faded. First of all, she was smiling and began to move past the chains to join her for her own torment. We raced back and she chased us. This time, when we got to the other side, we still didn't hear anything except for Emily who was chasing us. Luckily, we managed to get switched into another line while Emily raced on ahead. Right now we're sitting in Henry's tunnel waiting for it to be safe. While sitting around we heard an engine coming up behind us and we were shocked to see it was Percy. He was shocked to see James with all the people. He said he thought we were dead and couldn't believe there were that many survivors. He was covered in dirt and filth. We asked what had happened and he said the mist had changed people into monsters and that Molly is one of many. Percy said we should get to the mainland and it could be safe. We agreed and left. Tidmouth sheds I think I heard crying coming from the birds, but we just kept going. soon arrived back at Napford to take the feed for a while and when we pulled in, we saw Gordon sitting at one of the other platforms with a few of his express coaches. The people in the coaches said they were going to escape to the mainland. Percy said they shouldn't just leave their friends, but Gordon said the monsters in the mist had gotten to them and they were dead. He saw James and Gast saying that he could have sworn the mist had gotten him. James kept telling them he had no idea what was happening. All he knew was that he took a passenger train this morning and went over Gordon's Hill and that's when he saw Emily Gordon and Percy said the mist arrived two weeks ago. We decided to leave it at that as we could tell James was upset at what was 
was happening. A while later Gordon was about to leave for the mainland. The passengers said we could come with them but they weren't coming back for us if we stayed behind. Most of the passengers from our coaches went to Gordon's coaches as he was much faster. Percy said he couldn't leave without the others but we told him that they would want him to escape. He eventually decided to come with us so we're going to head out. We were getting close to Earl's Bridge when we saw him. We were horrified. He was shrouded in mist but that short stumpy fungal and dome was all too familiar. Gordon shot past yelling at us to not stop him. The thing paid no mind to him and went after Percy. Percy said he was sorry and had to go. The creature disappeared and reappeared in front of Percy telling him they had to go shin some truck. Percy begged saying he didn't want to. He raised off with the creature hot on his tail. I he's okay. So far no signs of Gordon. Gordon or Percy, God I hope they're okay, we're going to spend the night at Ellsbridge, James and the remaining passengers are exhausted, we're going to make sure some people stay awake to stand guard, hopefully everyone is here tomorrow.